guys, what's going on? And today I want to share a video with you about how I am setting up my GoPro for vlogging. And the reason why I'm making this video is, is I had to search the web over and over again and watch a bunch of videos. Uh, but I've got two close friends, Ryan Hustis and Rob Perry, both of which have YouTube channels. Uh, Ryan's uh, YouTube channel is uh, Two Days Off Weekly Vlog. And Rob's vlog is Mr. Perry, and he does a lot of GoPro videos. You see him doing some snowboarding right now, uh, just some really awesome stuff. It's gonna require one, the Pro 3.5 mic adapter. This is exclusive to GoPro. I also got the Rode Video Micro. The next thing I got was a recommendation from a friend, uh, was the Poulos um, Aluminum Alloy housing. It's got a nice little lens cap right there, three and a half, um, a UV filter for the lens. But the most important thing is, is that it has one, is something to mount it on. You can use either the GoPro mount. Optionally, there's another hole down here that you can use for a typical tripod stand, which I do believe is a quarter inch screw. And then the last component that's an absolute must if you want to put a microphone on is the cold foot adapter. I got myself what's called the, the GoPro 3-way and it makes this really cool little handheld selfie stick but the other really cool thing about it why it's a 3-way is that at the bottom of this is a little tripod. You can set your um, GoPro right onto it if you so choose. You just take off the little end cap and there you go you can mount your little GoPro just like that or you can also take it and you turn it upside down and put it back into the base like this. Rescrew it back in. So you're basically making like a tripod. So if you want to set up a, a shot up, you can use this little mount and you're all set to go. And in the making of this video, I'm going to set up and do video both ways. The way my GoPro is ordinarily set up with it doing its auto stereo and wind settings. Plus we'll try a couple different things and I'm gonna give you a warning when it comes to something that was told to me uh, about the Wi-Fi mode being on on a GoPro uh, and picking up interference with these. I'm gonna teach you how to turn uh, your Wi-Fi off on a GoPro in order to stop any kind of interference you might have taking place at the road mic may be picking up. Now the first thing you want to know is, is how to take this door off. You don't want this door on to set this thing up. It comes off just like that. And uh, just FYI, if you want to put it back on, you can use your little thumb to slide this back out and put it back on like that. So a warning here is, is that if you take this door off, your GoPro is no longer waterproof. I repeat, your GoPro is no longer waterproof. So the first thing is, as you can see, my GoPro is still set up with a little lens on it. I'm not taking anything off other than the door. And I've got the aluminum alloy housing. I'm going to take it and I'm going to gently slide it in place. Now this does not have a back door on it, but you really don't necessarily need it. What you're going to do is you're going to slightly turn this a little bit. To just kind of keep it nice and snug. Now here's the Rode Video Micro, or I think of it as the mini mic. It comes all together with a little cat. Uh, I'm thinking of this microphone as probably not needing the cat if I'm inside, doing a vlog inside. Um, but anyways, you can always slide it on. It's got a nice little uh, opening right there, like the butthole of the cat. What we're going to do is we're going to take the little insert, slide it down like that and there's like a little groove for it so it's like that so now you're ready for the aluminum housing and basically it comes with this adapter simply slide it in like that and we're just going to take this little knob and we're going to screw it down until it's nice and snug voila so now what you need to do is you need to get your three and a half mic and the little road mic that kind of comes with it. Unboxed, this is what the GoPro uh, USB-C 
to three and a half millimeter adapter looks like. Just plug it in like that. Now this is a non-powered way of going about getting sound to your GoPro. So where you ordinarily charge your GoPro, you're gonna take your uh, USB-C, part of the adapter, and you're gonna just plug it in like that. I'm gonna quickly turn it over. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug it right into the back of the microphone. So it's nice and snug, just like that. So I still have the ability to get to the button if I need to. I use a lot of uh, hands-free, so not that big of a deal. You know, GoPro this, GoPro that. So, uh, but my main thing is I like to be able to see the screen from time and again. So I've gone ahead and powered it back on. I'm going to come into my preferences. And I'm going to scroll down until I see the option for the mic. And right there it says standard mic. So it already knows that it's got a microphone already plugged in. Some of the other options for audio input are like standard mic plus. Now I don't have that because it's not powered. So we're just going to leave it set at standard mic. Now we'll give this a test, but a friend of mine also mentioned the fact that it was probably a good idea to turn off Wi-Fi. That on the older GoPros, uh, the devices would give a lot of interference because of the Wi-Fi. Uh, or what the camera would pick up or the microphone would pick up a lot of interference. And I just want to show you that if you're wanting to turn off your Wi-Fi connection, you do that when you by sliding down and clicking connect and you're going to come to wireless connections and you're just going to turn that off. So now your wireless connections are turned off. So one other option that I found was really helpful that I saw was going into your video settings and turning on manual audio control. And because we now have something that we are going to control, either because of the mic or we're going to put the little cat on, um, we don't need it to really tell us anything or to make its own choices for us. Uh, so we're going to put it into stereo mode only. But that's it. So let's give this thing some tests, uh, get some better quality video, get off of this older camera, uh, and um, see what it looks like. I'm going to set it up on the GoPro 3-way. Right onto the bottom of this and uh, go from there. That's it. How do I sound? Hopefully it's much better. Now, back over here, I do have what's called a mini split HVAC system. Uh, so there is a little bit of noise coming in from there, but I'm hoping the video sounds a whole lot better. So let's go over what we've put on this thing. We've got the three and a half inch mic adapter. We've used an alloy camera housing. I've got the little door off. I'm going to keep this someplace safe so I don't lose it. And I've got the little cat adapter not on. The GoPro has currently got its Wi-Fi turned off. The GoPro right now is also set up to be stereo only manual settings. So if you swipe from the right side of your screen, you can get to that ordinarily where the video stabilization is on the LCD screen. And this video right here is where I do not have the three and a half inch mic or the Rode Video Micro actually plugged in. So you can hear the difference. Now it is manually set to stereo only right now. So what you're hearing is everything through the aluminum housing uh, that it, it, everything's set up in. And in this one, I've actually turned the Wi-Fi mode back on just to see if there's much of a difference. Um, as you can see right here, this is what it all looks like set up. It's pretty clean when it's recording me. So we'll go outside, we'll test a couple different things. Uh, hopefully I've covered everything that you guys wanted to know. Now, one thing I have seen is, is that some people trim their cats, especially when really uber windy scenarios. I don't recommend that because the less fur that you have, uh, the colder your cat's butt is gonna become. It's a cat hole, right? So that's it, I put the cat on. I'm gonna wander outside so you guys get to hear the difference between it. 
So what did all this set me back? Uh, for the aluminum housing, which is right around $20 or so, uh, the Rode mic and the three and a half audio adapter that you need in order to connect the 3.5 millimeter uh, Rode mic to the USB-C plug-in on the side of the camera, uh, it probably cost me right around $120 to $130. If you're gonna add the three-way GoPro handheld unit, uh, that also has a little tripod built in, that's why it's called a three-way. Be expecting about hmm, right around $170 to $180, and all of which is available either from Best Buy, but I prefer Amazon. It's a very windy day, but it's not too bad out here. It's a little cold. I uh, decided to come out into the sun uh, and record this. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this setup and uh, demonstration of all the various things that you can do. Uh, with your microphone. It's a very directional microphone. I hope you guys have a great remainder of your day and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah.